Iniulat ni Pangulong Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr. Ang isang produktibong tatlong araw na pagbisita sa Estado sa Czech Republic kung saan nakilala niya ang lahat ng apat na nangungunang opisyal ng gobyerno at gumawa ng makabuluhang Memorandum of Understanding, Mo. So, I'm very happy to say na medyo productive ang kaunting oras na ginugol dito sa Prague. At syempre, ito ay talagang isang tunay na kasiyahan upang maging sa lungsod na ito. Napakagandang lungsod. I think you've seen it, parang naglalakad sa fairy tale town, sabi ni Pangulong Marcos. Ginawa ng Pangulo ang pahayag sa isang panayam sa Philippine Media Delegation, ilang oras bago siya bumisita sa Filipino community sa Prague kung saan tiniyak niya sa kanila ang patuloy na suporta ng gobyerno upang matiyak ang kanilang kaligtasan at kapakanan. Sina Pangulong Marcos at First Lady Luis, Liza, Araneta Marcos ay inimbitahan ni Czech Republic President Peter Pavel para sa tatlong araw na state visit sa kanilang bansa upang higit na palakasin ang bilateral cooperation at multilateral partnership sa pagitan ng Pilipinas at Czech Republic. Sa tatlong araw na pagbisita sa Estado, nagkaroon ng produktibong pagpupulong si Pangulong Marcos kasama si Pangulong Pavel at unang ginang Eva Pavlova, unong ministro Peter Fiela, Pangulo ng Senado ng Czech na si Milos Vystersil at tagapagsalita ng Czech ng Kamara ng mga deputy na si Markete Pekerova Adamova. Sinaksihan ni na Pangulong Marcos at Pangulong Pavel ang paglagda sa joint communique na naglalayong magtatag ng mekanismo ng konsultasyon sa paggawa sa pagitan ng Department of Migrant Workers, DMW, at ng Czech Ministry of Labor and Social Affairs. Sinaksihan din ng dalawang leader ang ceremonial signing ng MOU sa pagitan ng Philippine business leaders at kanilang mga Czech counterparts sa Hungarian isulong ang kalakalan at pamumuhunan ng dalawang bansa. Inaasahang darating si Pangulong Marcos sa Pilipinas Sabado ng hapon, lokal na oras. Ting mag uh, ano ba, eh, mag uh, lagay ng uh, press release. Press release si Miss uh, Garapal, no? Diyan sa PCO. Pero ah Sino plan ang kanyang kapatid? Kasi, dalawang taon na, ha? O, pinagdadaldal nitong uh, TV4 na ito daw ang na-accomplish, ito daw ang mga pananaw ni Marcos at ganadong-ganado siya magtrabaho pa. Pero bigla kagad na, ha? sino plan ng kanyang kapatid na si Amy Marcos? Ito po, ha? isa lang ito sa aspeto ng uh, ikangay Walang ginawa si Marcos. O ito, pakinggan natin si Amy Marcos. Expectation ng tao, Marcos administration, matindi ang infrastructure. Alam ba ninyo, dyan sa unprogrammed yung DPWH, nagkagulo-gulo. Bakit? Zero. Zero ang foreign assisted projects. Ibig sabihin, lahat ng flagship project, zero rin. Ano yung maipapakita? Ako nahihiya, pati ang expectation ng tao, labis-labis ang kalsada, ang puerto, aeroport. Kinakabahan ako, sira pati ang pangalan ng Pilipino niya. Galing sa kanyang kapatid, eh wala daw, wala daw infrastructure program eh, itong Marcos administration. So paano mo masasabi na napaka, you know, uh, accomplished itong uh, administration niya in the last uh, one and a half years? Huh? Puro travel, wala pa naman tayo nakikita na. Uh, puro, puro sinasabi na ang dami-daming mga uh, pledges. Pero mayroon ba talaga pumasok na eh, in real terms? Ha? Ha? Paring Ado, ha? ikaw, uh, may nakita ka ba na in real terms? Eh, wala pa nga eh. In fact, uh, dito sa Germany, nagulat ako pagbalik niya. 4 billion dollars. Pero dumating dito yung mga Amerikano, ha? Kung todo bulatsingan, 1 billion dollars lang yung Amerika. So, hindi ko maintindihan eh. At saka... Ang sabi, 1.7 trillion, sabi ni Babes Romualdez. Oh. Asa na yun? Puro confusing. Puro, puro ano eh. Ano bang tawag yan? Confuse the enemy. Hmm. Ha? Ito pa nga, mayroong isang vlogger Uh, si Arateles, sinasabi na, sinasabi na nung una, in-announce na sa Germany siya, 4 billion daw ang nakalap ni Marcos sa Germany. Tapos pag uwi ni Marcos, galing sa Germany at galing sa Czech Republic, ang total daw na nakalap ay 4 billion. 
Dalawa. So, so ibig sabihin, zero sa Czech Republic daw kasi eh, 4 billion na sinasabi sa Germany, eh, pag-uwi niya, 4 billion lang. So, walang nakalap sa Czech Republic. So, it's a, it's a useless uh, expenditure for the government and for uh, for Marcos. So, yun po ang nakikita ng taong bayan. At yung sinasabi na ang ganda-ganda ng ano, ng uh, prospect ay in the light of the current situation, inflation, ha, ang presyo ng bigas ay napakataas pa rin. Tataas na naman ang presyo ng sibuyas, asukal, and oil. Eh, what, what, what are they talking about? Itong PCO na binasa dito sa PTB4. What are they talking about? Ha? It's all lies. That is really ha, puro propaganda eh. Pero Siguro uh, pinag-alala nila yung uh, Joseph Goebbels. <laughs> yung German uh, uh, storytelling uh, a lie. Uh, 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 lie. Often repeated. They believe that it is true, true what they're doing. Uh, <laughs> Ganon talaga ang sitwasyon ngayon sa ating bansa. Oh. Pwede so, ba natin pakita yung talagang most urgent concerns ng Pilipino oh. dito sa survey nung December ng Pulse oh, Asia? Nasaan yun? Ayan, mga kabansa. Oh. Oh. Most urgent national concerns. Oh, ito, uh, ano ba to SWS? Pulse Asia. Pulse Asia. Oh. Oh. Ito, SWS or Pulse Asia. They, uh, hindi ito okta yung okta binabayaran lang yun eh oh. ito talaga nag ano ito eh ah, yung okta magaling yun sa covid na kino covid pero ngayon eh oh ito oh, dito makikita nyo mga kaban sa controlling inflation 72 increasing the pay of workers 46 48 ba yan 40 uh, 40 creating more jobs 28, reducing the poverty of many Filipinos, 20 plus. Ngayon mga kabansa, per sport pa lang yan, meron pang iba sa down the line na economic. Pero nasa lang atensyon ng ating Pangulo mga kabansa. Nandun sa pangalwa sa baba, defending the integrity of the Philippine territory against foreigners. 6% mga kabansa. Lang ang concern about it. Ha? Pero pinag-aksaya niya he's traveling around the world yes Australia Germany oh. and representing the Americans oh. the interest of the Americans ha uh, inuutusan siya to form uh, an Asian and uh, part of the Europe alliance to defend the United States against China tayo wala tayong away sa China mga, mga kababayan Sa panahon ni President Duterte, ang export natin sa China, so huge. Huh? Ang investment sa China, supposed to be at the time, uh, ang daming investment, Kaliwa Dam and uh, North Rail. And, uh, infrastructure. Pero, ito po ay nawala lahat. When Marcos huh, took a pivot in favor of the United States, and now he is the salesman of the United States of America. He is the puppet of the United States of America. Dinagdagan ng EDCA basis. Even her, his own sister, uh, Amy Marcos, has even investigated uh, this in the Senate. Uh, and uh, na, the, the, she was able to catch the mga military na na utal utal tungkol dito sa paglagay diyan sa Isabela sa Cagayan ng mga EDCA. Ngayon, na uh, dinagdagan pa ng naval base. Yan, naval base doon sa Batanes. Oh, so it's all in the name of the United States. What is the exchange? According to the China Times, Asian Times, 61 B daw ang exchange. Ah, uh, di umano. Ha? ang nasa uli na na 
well. Huh? Hidden well. Hidden well. Huh? Uh, so it's now working for the Americans? He is now, he is huh? now the, actually the employee of uh, United States of America. At ang bayad sa kanya yung 61 billion dollars na hidden well. And still Pero, going, and perception. still going, and still going. Okay. For more. Mm -hmm. oh, anyway. Pero may mga analyst naman oh. na nagsasabi na itong mga biyahe Mm. ni Pangulo Marcos Jr. Eh, mm. Pag-inda nap natin. Napaka-importante raw. Baka at, naman hindi tayo mm. sabihin na uh, hindi natin pinapalabas okay, yung mga... Balansin natin. Ibabalansin natin. natin. O, at sabihin natin, bakit itong tao na ito ay nagsasalita in favor of Marcos? Sige. Oh. Kasi ang sinasabi natin kanina, he is the puppet, he is the agent of the United States. Now, who is this person praising him? Uh, ito po. Earlier, the president is expected to leave the country later this afternoon for his fifth and sixth uh, th trip just in the first three months of 2024. What do you make out of the frequency of his overseas travels? From a strategic point of view, I see value in the president's trip, especially as they choose key uh, countries that could be stronger, that could lead to stronger partnership stronger ally alliances that can help address not only security challenges, but even economic challenges that we are facing right now as a country. All right. Dindo, it's no secret that President Ferdinand Marcus Jr. has been trying to diversify the Philippines' alliances, especially with the U.S. coming to a vote in October or in November uh, later this year. There's, there's quite an uncertainty there on who the next U.S. president will be. Make sense of the situation for the public. How important are these state visits and these working and official visits for the Philippines at a time when the country is trying to defend in itself against Chinese incursions? I've always viewed the world uh, from a different point of view. I don't like to look at it from the interest of the U.S., but also from the interest of more so, especially for the interest of the Philippine people. And right now, as President Marcos expands, grows our partnerships and alliances with countries that share the values of democracy, that shares the value of a rules-based international order, that is ready to help us not only security-wise, but even economic-wise with either investments, trade, or even opening up of their country to more Philippine workers, if you remember, remittances drive our Philippine economy also. So I see that as, as a different uh, point of view, that the, the president and the, his cabinet is looking at it from a more strategic uh, direction. And in this strategic direction, we see value on the importance of the Philippines right now because we are key to international trade. We are key to the security stability of the South China Sea and the Indo-Pacific region. All right, Dindo, policymakers and academics know the system well, but ordinary Filipinos need some explanation on why these diplomatic relations cannot, be simp cannot simply be strengthened over a phone call. You know, you'll be surprised that when people are saying that there are, pe that there are groups that's against the Philippine president, our institute is data-driven. And we have not seen lower support for the president we have seen up to 90% of Filipinos wanting uh, him to assert our rights. And just at the end of last year, we see, uh, we see at least uh, 70 to 80% of Filipinos would like us to strengthen our relationship with these countries. You know, like Australia continues to be a top country, US, Japan, the European Union. So there is broad support. I think the Filipinos understand it. Ang galing talaga no, ng Amerika, talagang full support uh, sa mga endeavors ni Marcos. Pati yung uh, mga travel ni eh, McCoy to several countries, the U.S. is uh, praising him, supporting him. In the person of this uh, Anghit, uh, this, Huh? Ang Dindo manghit. Dindo anghit? Manghit. Ah, manghit? Ah, manghit. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Pero, pero, pero sino ba ito? Eh. Sino ba itong si Kado, Dindo na. anghit na ito? Why is he praising Marcos? Uh, is he uh, representing the United States of America? Uh, can you give us? Ikaw, uh, magaling ka dyan. Well, nakita nyo naman doon sa caption kanina, Strat-based ADR Institute. Hmm. 
Ano ba yung AD? Iba kay Del Rosario yan? Albert Del Rosario yan. Oh. ADR. Okay. Eh, okay. No sumula, wonder. Sumulangit oh. tawakan ang kaluluwa. Oh, no wonder. Oh, oh. Sige. Okay. Yan ho ang chairman <laughs> ng ADR. Albert Del Rosario. Oh. May he rest in peace. Ang co-chairman niya, mm. si Manny Pangilinan. Ah, okay. Okay. Ah, ito yung mga interesado doon sa sa Red sea, Red Bank. Red Rectory Red, red Bank. Oh, re, oh, oh, uh, na uh, gustong gustong uh, uh, makipaglaban sa China for the oil. Oh, oh at tapat oh. tapat sila kasi oh, ang kanilang okay. hope is pa, baka bumalik ang influence ng Estados Unidos, ma-neutralize ang China sa Red Bank. Para ang US depensahan sila oh, okay. for the sake of business. <coughs> Oh, ah, oh. Tayo ang ADR, oh. ang business agent ng Center for Strategic and International Studies sa Washington, D.C. Na at so, ito center, si ang hit, ano ito, bata ng Amerika. Oh, executive ah, director yan. Executive director. And oh. a, uh, itong Stratbase is an American oh. uh, finance, uh, ano ba yan? Sila, uh, sila ang pinaka-agent dito. Mm. Uh, so no wonder na, no wonder talagang sino suportahan niya ang travel ni Marcos lalo na as agent of the United States. At hindi lang ang travels ni Marcos kung hindi ang pambubuyo sa gera mm. dahil ang CSIS oh. ang representative ng mga neoconservative wing oh. ng uh, mga partido sa Amerika oh. ha, na nagre-representa ng uh, ik- ano, military economy. Oh, oh. Yung mga armas, mga gamit pang gera. Mm. So, that's why, doon papunta yan. They're trying to foment it. Uh, to yung, foment the... Uh, conflict and tension between China and the Philippines. When in effect, it's between the US and China. So, we are doing the proxy war. Yes. And while Marcos is doing uh, uh, the proxy war and making uh, himself as agent going to Australia Paseo, con- Paseo con- to Australia convincing uh, the Australian oh, going to Japan. Germany Jap- oh, oh, ito Jap- naman with Blinken and Japan oh. at ito strengthen the ano, eh wala naman tayong away sa China bakit bakit ginigit-git ang China why are he why is Marcos putting the lives of the Filipinos in danger ha uh, ah uh, na talagang gitgitin ang China para magkagera tayo at the end of the day wala namang wala namang diploma or 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 award or reward yan in fact on the contrary a lot of Filipinos will die if there ever is going to be a war between China and and the the Philippines ang nakakalungkot dito secretary is when oh. he was in Australia for the second time okay. naglabas na ang Manila Times ng leak mm. no? leak okay. na the Chinese embassy had uh, from February last year okay. have submitted 11 proposals to uh, for projects no? mm. and maging isang taon na ngayon ay hindi pa sila binabalikan ng Department so of Foreign Affairs so in other words Affairs. Despite the ginigit-git nila ang China, sa kabaitan ng China, tuloy, tuloy. they are still they are still willing to uh, have a diplomatic uh, yeah. relation, uh, trying to come up with uh, words of pacification, mm-hmm. uh, uh, extending that hand of friendship still with the Philippines. And yet, uh, Uh, ayo parang inignore ibig mo sabihin inignore yung mga offers ng China okay, ang uh, sitwasyon dyan nga parang kotse na naka handbrake ngayon sa mm. China mm. ang uh, DFA natin dahil uh, hindi iniintindi iniintindi hindi 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 Kaya, iniintindi pati yung mga project remember uh, secretary oh. Xi Jinping promised 23 billion uh, of assistance no mm to Bongbong Marcos. Mm. Pero mula noong February, pag galing niya sa America, sa America na, na the 61 billion, di umano, <laughs> uh, the 61 billion uh, bribery allegedly. Oh. Oh. At saka apat na EDCA basis ang binuksan, mm. ay wala pang umaandar doon sa 23 billion na yun. Kasi nga, kung baga ito, tawag na tawag ang China by telephone. Halimbawa, so in other words, in other words, itong sa China, 
na inoffer na 20, 23 billion ay para sa Filipino. Yes. Para sa taong kabuhayan, taong bayan. Pero yung 61 billion na inoffer ng Amerika para, Radio, para, para sa personal lang na pagpayaman sa mga Marcos. Yun ang ibig mo sabihin. Yes. Uh, so, kawawa ang taong bayan. Kawawa. Ha? Bukod doon, hmm. yung ibang projects pa na nasimulan na nung palahon ni Duterte, ay pinipigilan pa nila at gusto pa nilang iribid. Mm. Ngayon, ito naman, pagdating dito ng mga Amerikano, kaya tuwa ang uh, ADR, ang gusto lang nila mga negosyo doon sa kanilang prenamis na okay. 1 million ay puro power-related projects kasi so, sigurado ang kita nila ron. So, in ditong ni Stratbase, which is an American finance uh, di umano, na organization headed by this uh, former ASEC ay no no kung asang ah, ASEC ito dati eh. ha? pero ngayon uh, empowered na kasi American uh, boy na ito eh praise ng praise sa mga travel ni Marcos ha? maski hindi totoo uh, it, it 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 enhances daw the ano the uh, military and as well as economic ha eh ano economic <laughs> Kaya nga pinupos nga yung cons- constitutional change eh. uh, the provisions of the economic uh, or the economic provisions in the constitution eh. kaya nga ina uh, ginugurgur eh, para daw to be liberal oh eh, bakit mo kailangan pa yan eh, kung ikaw lang, biyahe lang ng biyahe at kalap ka ng palap ng FD, FDI, uh, foreign uh, foreign uh, direct investments. Oh. So, di ba, is that a contradiction, paring Eli? Hmm. Ikaw, kumakalap ka ng ano sa travel mo, ng maraming investments, tapos controversial yung charter change pero pinipilit mo pa rin kasi... Kaya mo pinipilit dahil nga ang sinasabi mo, wala tayong nakakalap ng investment. O, alin ba ang totoo dito? <coughs> ah, mga kababayan, alin ba ang totoo? Is Marcos really telling us the truth? Or he's confusing the, uh, confusing the Filipino para hindi mapapansin yung kabulastugan na ginagawa niya sa ating bansa? Ang 